Okay, so we talked about positional stuff. Now let's talk about a little hone in on the time aspect, okay? So a lot of times when people talk about timing inside of animation, there's actually two aspects to this. There is timing and spacing, and people get a little bit confused about it. Timing is the where the main where you put your keyframes, and that is going to determine. So, like for instance, if I'm looking at this character jumping, that is how much time passes from when they hit the ground to the, when they hit the top. Okay, it's not about it's not about the the speed in which they do. It's about the well, it will be the it's the overall speed of how they're moving, right? So if I look at this example here, the timing is just you know it it starts at zero and it takes him five seconds to get here, right? So it's the timing is frame zero to here. Now most of the time when you create your timing, you usually want to have it be musical, rhythmic. Uh, if you think about fight sequences, you don't want every punch if you're fighting to be punch, punch, punch punch that's boring you want punch 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 right you want it to kind of be varied and that's the same way you want your motions generally to be as well you don't want it to be boring so that is timing now when we talk about spacing that's a little bit different that is the space between each individual frame so this will probably be a little bit better of an example so this would be a linear spacing this is even which means the rate of change uh, over every frame is the exact same. So it just goes one consistent speed. Generally speaking, you do not want that. There are times that where that makes sense. Things that are mechanical, if you're purposely trying to make something look not alive, but robotic, linear would be the way to go. But even those, to be honest, usually don't have that too. Now, if instead we try to ease into the motion, that means that now notice it takes the same amount of time. It takes the same amount of time for this person to get from here to here, right? So it takes five seconds. This one's timing is the same. It still takes five seconds, but it's starting off much slower and then it goes faster. So if you were to look at this graph, right? The rate of change on the bottom, which you can't see very well, um, it's very little, right? It's the, the values are not getting up very high. And then as it goes this way, the value goes much higher over time. So it starts slow and then it gets faster. So this is an ease in. You're easing into the speed, right? If I was going to push on the gas in my car, it's going to ease in. Like it's going to start slow and then my car is going to get faster, 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 faster. This is ease out. It's the opposite. Starts fast, right? So you can see a lot of rate of change. And then as it gets up here, it barely moves, right? Because if it was linear, completely linear, that means it's not moving at all. Like over time, the position isn't, there's no rate of change. And that's what you see here. So he starts fast and then he comes down to a stop. And that is, if I was driving a car, that's what would happen, right? I would drive and then when I hit the brakes, it would slow down. And that's why this is so mechanical, right? Because this car just goes one speed. It should speed up and then slow down. And that's probably what I put on the last one is ease in and out, yeah. So if you look at here, start slow, goes really, really fast and then comes down slow. And you can see out of all the four of those, this one is the most visually interesting and generally the most accurate. So most of the time when you have your motions, you want to make sure you're doing it like this. Now, you probably already did some of this when you were doing the, uh, the magic dot assignment, right? Because you put the dot really close to each other when you wanted to move slower. And then you put it farther apart from each other when you wanted to move faster. And that's the same principle. That's spacing. It's the space between each frame. That's different than timing. These all have the same timing. They're all starting and ending in the same amount of time. 